Let's consider methods for determining transport numbers. All of them are related with the imposition of a potential difference on the electrolyte solution or with the appearance of a constant potential difference. Suppose a direct current passes through an electrochemical cell. This cell is divided into three compartments by porous walls. Initially, in each of the compartments is a salt solution with the same concentration. Both electrodes are made of metal corresponding to cations, for example, copper for a solution of copper sulfide. Consider what will happen in the first compartment adjacent to the cathode after passing one Faraday of electricity through the system. In accordance with Faraday's law, one gram equivalent of cations is discharged at the cathode. Then, through a porous wall, a certain number of cations will enter in the first compartment from the middle compartment, and a certain number of anions will leave it in the middle compartment. The total balance of cations in compartment 1 is If another amount of electricity is passed through the system, then the salt loss in the compartment 1 will be Knowing the volume of the first compartment, we find the change in the concentration of salt in it after passing electricity. This equation underlies the Hitterf method, in which the transport numbers are determined by the change in the concentration of the solution in the near electrode compartment. This equation is approximate, since it does not take into account the process of solvent transfer through the porous membrane that separates compartments 1 and 2. Moreover, the change in the amount of solvent in compartment 1 during electrolysis depends on the design of the measuring cell. Since it is caused not only by the transfer of solvent in the solvate shells of ions, but also by other reasons, disturbance of hydrostatic equilibrium due to enrichment of depletion of compartment 1 by electrolysis products, electroosmosis and others, which can lead to mixed results. To obtain unambiguous results, a change in the amount of salt in compartment 1 that occurs during electrolysis must lead to the same amount of solvent in this compartment. In this case, The transfer numbers calculated by this equation are unique and correspond to the choice of the solvent as a reference system. Insufficiently dilute solutions when the equation turns to
for the successful application of the heat earth method, it is necessary that no side processes occur at the electrode solution interface when passing an electric current. In addition, the current transmission time should not be very long, so that equalization of concentration due to diffusion through the porous wall can be neglected. As a result of this, the concentration changes are small, and this increases the requirements for analytical methods by which the change in salt and solvent content in compartment 1 is determined.